Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I am so excited for this video because we are going to be doing a full face of any makeup brands you've actually never heard of. So about two months ago, Manny MUA did a video called Unheard of Indie Brands and I was immediately intrigued because you know I love indie, that's what I'm all about. I love that he was talking about some smaller brands and giving them their moment, especially like Makeup and Murder, Midas Cosmetics, Give Me Glow Cosmetics, that was all fine and dandy. But then he started talking about Ofer Cosmetics, M Cosmetics, Alomar Cosmetics, Cosmetics Beauty Bakery and I'm thinking these are brands giant youtubers talk about all the time I feel like those are like so far from an unheard of indie brand and I'm sure it was just to make a catchy title But his video ended up inspiring me to think of brands that I don't hear anyone talk about My rule for this video was I wanted to do a full face of brands that I've only heard two people or less ever talk about in my history of YouTube and Instagram scrolling slash watching, watching slash scrolling, I guess I should go in the same order. So that was the challenge I set out for myself and some of these products I've talked about in the past, but I really haven't heard other people talk about the brands. And then I also went ahead and purchased a few items specifically for this video, so there's some first impressions along the way. This is not a rose by any means, I'm sorry Manny. If you ever need help with any makeup, let a girl know. If anyone has any questions, of course, not just Manny, that's just me joking honestly, because he'll probably never see this video, but if you have any questions about getting into indie makeup, videos that you want to see, ideas that you have, please feel free to let my comment section be your sounding board. So if you love indie makeup or you're interested in learning more about it, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. Now let's jump into this full face of indie makeup you've probably hopefully, fingers crossed, never heard of. All right, so the first product we're gonna be starting off with is the Danessa Myricks Prism FX Hydrating Lotion, and this is a really glowy, beautiful primer. I have only ever heard Bailey B talk about Danessa Myricks, and that's actually because I searched it out. I'm sure there's other people, but just from organically looking, I've never seen anyone mention her products just casually in a video, and if you don't know who Danessa Myricks is, you're definitely missing out. Danessa Myricks is an amazing makeup artist, photographer, and creator. She said that her vision was to create a brand where there were limitless possibilities for women from all walks of life to create. As a self-taught makeup artist with minimal resources at her disposal, she had to be creative with the products she had access to by maximizing their usage, creatively mixing and blending colors and textures to make things work. Even with that, she found she was limited by the existing shades and textures, and she had the desire to create her own. Thus, her line was born. All right, so the next brand we're gonna be talking about is Erin's Faces, and I've been so intrigued by this brand. I've actually only ever heard Hannah Louise Poston mention them, and she's given them some really great reviews, and specifically talked really highly of their concealer and also their new mascara, which is definitely on my wish list when I do eventually need a new mascara. So I went on their website, and I ended up picking out a few different samples, just because I wasn't sure about colors, and they are a bit more of a high-end price tag, so I didn't wanna buy something and then the color be wrong and because they had samples at my disposal I figured I would go ahead and grab some I think they were like two dollars each or something like that so first I grabbed their mineral sheer tint sample in the shade alabaster which was the lightest shade available and then I grabbed their concealer in the shade cottonwood which was the lightest shade and then I also grabbed their aloe setting powder sample which I was just super intrigued by this I've just never heard of a setting powder with aloe vera in it so just to give you some quick background on Erin's faces the owner Erin actually started working as a makeup artist for Urban Decay in New York City in 2000 she's done musical theater as well as New York Fashion Week the company actually began at her kitchen table about five years ago, and in 2019, they moved into a commercial space, which is so exciting for a small indie brand. They say that every product they launch is meant to be as amazing as the conventional products, but with all clean ingredients, their entire purpose is to empower, educate, and include women and the occasional gent of all shapes, sizes, and shades. I'm going to start off with the sheer tint, of course, which not sure how much I'm going to need, but I'm just going to go ahead and dab a little bit all over my face. Am I using a brush? I haven't decided. I didn't think this through, but the color looks pretty good. It's definitely a little bit more warm toned. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush. Let's see how that looks. I mean, it's definitely a light coverage, but I can see the glowiness. That looks really pretty. Or is it the primer? I don't know. It's probably a mixture of both of them. I feel like that blended into the skin really pretty. It just gave me a very, very light coverage. I think I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more and maybe blend it in with my fingers just to see. Cause I wanna say that this was supposed to be enough for one to two uh, uses and I'm definitely going a little bit lighter on it. Oh yeah, definitely see more coverage using it with my fingers. 
That's so pretty. The color is like perfect for me. So now let's go ahead and try this concealer, which I know Hannah's mentioned that this is a little bit dark for her and we're like the same skin tone. So I have a feeling it might be, oh, oh, okay. It's not liquidy. It's like, I thought that was supposed to be more liquid. It kind of looks like it dried down a bit, which I haven't messed with these or opened them or anything until now. And I think this is supposed to be a liquid product. So I wonder if there was a little bit of air there. Oh, well, actually that doesn't look, that doesn't look too dark for me. That looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of blend that underneath my eyes with my fingers. Why does that look so beautiful as well? I know I've only half blended it in, so I'm, maybe I'm making a rash judgment here. But that's really pretty. I just love a soft, glowy finish. Slightly regretting not buying the full size just to start off with. I'm like thoroughly impressed. All right, now I'm gonna go into the aloe setting powder and I'm just gonna take it on a very, very tiny little brush. Try to get the little extra back into the sample container. And we're just gonna take a tiny bit to set underneath my eyes to start off with. And then I'm just gonna set my nose and the center of my face and then the areas that I concealed. I feel like the powder feels nice on the skin. It set everything, but it doesn't look dry or cakey. It just looks very, very lightweight. So I feel like the combination of these three products together was really, really nice. I'm so glad I got to try those. I do honestly see myself making another more full-sized order. All right, so next for bronzer, I'm gonna go into my Kalon Cosmetics bronzing powder in the shade Light Bronze. It's talc and paraben-free, made in the USA. And it's just a very soft, satiny bronzer. It looks very, very beautiful on the skin. And it's kind of one those bronzers that's hard to go overboard with because it's just very very soft. So Kaylon Cosmetics was created by Jalita who started off as a makeup artist over nine years ago and sought after her TV slash film makeup artistry certification. After years of doing makeup professionally she knew that she could change lives on a larger spectrum and later developed Kaylon Cosmetics launching in July 2016. Their goal is to develop products and collections dedicated to a cause or awareness like health, bullying, lupus, fibromyalgia, heart disease, multiple sclerosis, sickle cell, and more. Alright so next for blush I'm going to be using Cloud Beauty and this is a product I've had for a bit. I've only mentioned it on my channel one time, I think, but this is the Cloud Beauty Blush in the shade Inus, which is a really beautiful, cool toned, soft pink with a little bit of a sheen to it. So, unfortunately, I can't tell you too much in detail about Cloud Beauty because right now their website is down. I basically gathered the information that I could from their Instagram. Cloud Beauty is a handmade indie brand owned by Molly. I believe that's what the owner's name is. And they launched in April of 2019. They've done a bunch of different art themed eyeshadows, blushes, and highlighters. Okay, so for eyes, I kind of have a funny story. It was the struggle and a half before I started filming this because there was one brand I have an eyeshadow palette from. I was specifically ready to talk about them in this video. I've never used it before, but I thought they're an indie brand that I really haven't heard a lot of people talk about. And when I went on their website, it actually said that they're owned by another company and therefore not an indie brand. So I was like, oh, dang it. I remembered that I had these single shadows that I'd been meaning to talk about from Haley Con Cosmetics, I think is what they're called. I have a bunch of shades here. They sent them to me a while back and I completely lost the box. I just found it recently. And so I was like, oh, I'll talk about them. They're a small indie brand that I really haven't heard anyone talk about. And they're completely gone. Like their Instagram's not even active anymore. So... I'm like, okay, well, now what am I going to do? So I was nervously going through my entire eyeshadow palette collection. I'm like, what has no one talked about? What has no one talked about? Like going through all the different brands. And I ended up deciding to talk about this shade Beauty Quad, which is called the Big Ten Palette. And I really haven't heard many people speak about shade Beauty. I've seen more about them on Instagram, but really nothing on YouTube. So this is what the quad looks like. It is a really beautiful kind of sparkly foiled eyeshadow quad. And this is lighter shade. I think I'm just going to pop one <laughs> shade all over my lid and call it a day do a very simple look so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one here I am first gonna go into a glitter glue which is not indie so don't look just pretend you didn't see this, okay? <laughs> Shade Beauty is a one-woman show indie brand based in Michigan. The owner, Dawn, dabbled in creating products in her spare time while raising a family and being a full-time law student, and eventually just, she decided to share the products with the world and start Shade Beauty. Their goal is to offer their customers high-quality products at an affordable price. I'm not normally a one sparkly shade all over the lid kind of girl, but I guess I am today. All right, so next I have a mascara that I purchased from Tater Rounds Beauty, and I'm super excited to try this today. Isn't that like the cutest, most adorable 
packaging that it came in. I actually bought one of these for me and one of them for my mom because she was super intrigued by this product as well. So this is a like really warm, deep brown mascara that has some red tones in it. And it is called the Moo Moo Mascara. I grabbed the shade Chocolate Milk, which is described as just a brown. And they have a bunch of different mascara options in natural colors, if that's something that you're looking for. I believe they also have done some colored, like, colorful colored mascaras as well now. I was super intrigued by this product to begin with because I feel like warm browns really bring out the green in my eyes. And the color of this is kind of the reason I wanted to go softer on the eyes just so we can really see what it ends up looking like. So Tater Rounds Beauty is a handmade vegan and cruelty-free Etsy brand run by Victoria. She has a degree in art and enjoys making all natural products with a hint of a country twist to them. Okay, so first impression, I have to say I don't super love the mascara. I think the color in theory is nice. It could be really, really pretty. Like I like the color being more natural, but I feel like the formula is a little bit too natural for me as well because I feel like I just like barely was able to coat my lashes. It didn't add any length. It didn't add any volume. It's just adding a little bit of warmth to them. I don't mind how it looks on the lower lash line. I wish I could have this color in a more intense formula. So now let's go ahead and do some highlighter. And I have two highlights that I was going to mention from Shop Angelic Beauty. And this first one here is called Bebecita. And I've actually talked about this on my channel before. I've used it before. It's like a really beautiful pink with a blue shift to it. Such a stunning highlight shade, but they actually sent me a different one that I don't think I've used on my skin yet before, and this is the shade Universe, which looks a little bit more like a champagne. It's a loose highlight, so I thought I'd go ahead and give it a chance today uh, to go along with this look here. So there's what it looks like swatched. Looks like it should be a pretty good color for me. So Shop Angelic Beauty is another brand that has their website down at this time, so I could only find a little bit of information from their Instagram. They are based in Tampa, they're a Latina-owned brand, and they launched in May of 2018. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to like tap that down before I get roasted. So it's a pretty typical loose highlighter. It looks very glowy on the skin. It is emphasizing texture just a little bit, but overall I feel like the color looks pretty good. I did kind of blend it back into the blush a little bit. Last but not least for lips, I'm so excited about the two brands I have left to talk about. So the first one is Vive Cosmetics and I grabbed three of their bullet lipsticks to try out. I did kind of want to try their matte liquid lipsticks, but they were all sold out. The packaging on these is so beautiful. It says beauty con cultura, which means beauty with culture. I definitely recommend for these next two brands that I'm talking about going and checking out their entire About Us page and reading more in depth on them because I tried to shorten it down, but they're really, really interesting backgrounds. So Vive Cosmetics is a Latina-owned indie brand founded by Joanna and Leslie. They wanted to combine their love of beauty and culture and then this is a direct quote from their website. We want Latinas and all Latinx to realize the power of our communities and truly embrace the beauty that comes from within. We do not need companies to cater or pander to us. We need companies that celebrate and honor our different stories, skin tones, languages, and origins. We need companies created by us and for us, and Vive Cosmetics is doing just that. So I figure let's go ahead and swatch each of these lipsticks, and I'll decide which one I'm going to be using today. So first we have the shade Divina. Ooh, that was... The worst swatch ever, my goodness. Okay. So that's kind of just like a warm pinky brown. That looks really, really pretty. And then next we have the shade Azucar, which means sugar. And it's more of a brown. Just fire me right now. Why am I even trying to swatch? Okay. So there's what that one looks like. And then we have the shade Pan Dulce, which is such a pretty like mauve tone. Oh yeah. So, hmm. I really like all of them, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Divina because that's the one that speaks to me the most. I feel like on my lips it kind of comes off a little bit more peachy, but I feel like it's very, very wearable. I really like it. Feels like a satin matte formula, so I'm really glad that I went ahead and picked those up. They've been something I've been eyeing for a bit, and I actually heard about those from She's Blessed X3 on Instagram. She's always supporting and talking about different Latina-owned brands. She's just a great source, so I'm excited that she introduced me to the brand Vive Cosmetics. So now 
the last brand we have to talk about, I am so, so excited about. One of y'all actually commented on one of my videos maybe a month or so ago and talked about this brand, said you never heard anyone talk about them and kind of explained their mission and I was immediately intrigued, so I made an order. So last but not least, we're gonna be talking about Cheekbone Beauty. The package of the two products I purchased came in is actually super cute. It has pink feathers all over them, which I will explain in just a moment. And then it had really nice wrapping and everything as well. So I went ahead and purchased a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss just to give them a chance and just to try out two different formulas. And so in the package, it actually comes with a pink feather and they have like a little thing that they do and it says when you support cheekbone beauty we ship you a pink feather or a vegan alternative with your order to bestow our love and gratitude to you for making a positive impact that changes the life of our indigenous youth please pass your pink feather on to a person that has done something to earn your love and gratitude tell that person why you're giving them the feather and ask that they pass it on to someone that has also impacted their life in a positive way i think that's so cute i already know who i want to give my pink feather to so just to tell you a little bit more about them before we talk about the products they are an indigenous beauty brand based in Canada and they're owned by Jennifer Harper. They were started about four and a half years ago. In 2020, they launched a less waste line of lipsticks and they have a zero waste goal for 2023. And then from their website, they say Cheekbones aim is to not only make a difference in the lives of indigenous youth through our donations addressing the educational funding gap, but mostly to create a space in the beauty industry where indigenous youth feel represented and seen. Since 2017, they have donated over $5,500, which is a amazing and then on their little insert here as well they say that each shade in their warrior women liquid lipstick collection is named for an inspiring indigenous woman cheekbone beauty aims to make indigenous youth feel seen in the beauty community by showcasing some of the fearless indigenous women reaching beyond the cultural divide and making a difference so i think their mission is really inspiring and i did grab one of the warrior women liquid lipsticks and this is the shade shannon i believe and this was actually an impulse buy because i was googling them trying to find whatever information i could and someone mentioned this being their perfect red. That looks like a great shade, okay. So I'm excited to try that formula in the future, but today I am gonna go ahead and try the lip gloss over this lipstick, that was the plan. So I grabbed a lip gloss in the shade Sweet Grass, which said it was one of their best sellers. Here's what it looks like. It's kind of more of a mauve tone. Maybe it would have gone better with this lipstick, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it just to see what the formula is like. Okay, so it seems a little bit thicker. and kind of like semi-opaque. So I feel like it added a nice glossy finish. It didn't change the color a ton and it's pretty comfortable on the lips. I'm excited to try it on its own next, but I think it makes a pretty good topper. So that is the full face. Let me change real quick. All right, so this is the finished look and I do really like how it turned out. I feel like I have sparkles up to my brows, which is not something I normally do, but overall I feel like the skin looks really, really pretty. I have to say I'm so impressed by this combination of skin products together. It just looks so beautiful on the skin. That sparkly shade all over the lid I feel like could be so stunning with a bunch of different matte shades around it like I would normally do when I'm using brands that people have heard of. I feel like the mascara wasn't a complete fail because I can see using it for my lower lashes when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, which is like a very, very one specific use. So definitely not my favorite, but I would recommend it if you are someone who likes very, 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 very natural mascaras. And then the lip products is probably what I'm the most excited about other than the base. Of course, I really like the ones I tried today. I think this combo is really pretty. It's a nice color. It's shiny. I feel like it's a very, very easy, 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 I was about to say easy and wearable. I said easable, <laughs> an easable lipstick to pull off. And I can't wait to wear a red lippy very, very soon to test out this formula. So you'll have to let me know how I did. Did you discover some new brands today? Which ones are you the most excited about? Are there any you're going to be checking into now? I would love to hear. Definitely let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this from me in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.